It's uh, the end of October in uh, Indiana. Weather is getting chillier and uh, nastier. So it's time to get some things done on the truck uh, to get it more, uh, I won't say winterized, but uh, a little bit more comfortable. Um, got all the, the door windows in, door hardware, uh, so everything works there. Um, uh, let's see, I was, I started to get the um, heater going, but uh, have uh, had some trouble getting the plug out of the head um, where uh, one of the heater hoses connects to, so I decided to stop on that um, uh, to exert any more force on it. It's going to be um, a major deal. Uh, heck. When the Army had this truck, there was no heater in it, so, uh, you know, there's enough heat coming up off the engine from the floorboards that, um, eh, we'll survive. Uh, the wipers, um, there again, started that project, but um, got them kind of working. We're, we're not quite there yet, but uh, ran the vacuum line for it. Um, uh, fixing oil leaks and various things like that, uh, that is in the process, uh, uh, replaced another seal, but, um, that's, uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much what we got in this video. Whenever you do little modifications, like putting in a steel glove box, uh, you might have to modify other things. Uh, this is my cowl vent and it was... <laughs> Couldn't shut it all the way, so I had to do a little notching on it. Should be fine now. Closed, there. Got new inner door panels. Uh, got to one side painted. Gonna paint both sides uh, this primer, and then um, the uh, side facing in is gonna be black because these are uh, two-wheel drive doors, specifically the WF32, long story on that. These have to come out for those. I got around to changing the door handle on the passenger side. This is the correct stainless steel. It looks tons better. This is the old two-wheel drive uh, WF32 handle uh, just destroyed but uh, yeah this looks much better works great so it's time to get the window glass and the doors um, since the weather is uh, getting toward uh, cold weather so get the regulator mechanism back in and um, Get the glass in there, uh, spritz up some of this, um, and get my panels on. Obviously, I'm not doing a full rebuild on this door yet, or else I'll lose the Taylor Brothers patina on there. I am just getting it back to usable condition with all the hardware and everything. And now, for the first time in 50 years, voila. So here's my finished door scheme. Uh, these are correct stainless steel for power wagon. These are the old hardware from the two-wheel drive version. And it's it doesn't look too bad, but uh, it's going to have to stay there uh, until I want to spring for purchasing the correct ones. Everything works fine. Oh, and as far as installing the glass, uh, I already did a video on that, and uh, the link will be in the description. So, one thing I'm doing is... Uh, Replacing seals as needed. Uh, the front seal on the uh, transfer case 
it's leaking like a sieve. I was <laughs> just amazed at the uh, total inconsistency of the uh, torque on these. That was like zero foot pounds. The one on the back that I struggled with had to be 150 or something. This is like nothing. Good thing it had a cotter paint in it. Got a new seal in, speedy sleeve, and nut correctly torqued to 11 to billion foot pounds. Okay, here is the vacuum takeoff hose that it feeds all the way up here inside, inside the body. Um, and I got some action out of the wiper motor, so maybe I'll show you a little bit of that, but I'm definitely not done. Also, this is where that plug is for the uh, water heater hose, and uh, um, can't get it out so far. So, um, the old manuals say brake fluid or transmission fluid. Um, I took these, this assembly off and just poured directly in there and then just very gingerly start to work it back and forth and it'll start to leak. job in and of itself didn't belong in there uh, we'll see if we can make it function in an effort to uh, uh, make it a little bit more streetable uh, more comfortable uh, driving around the city on blacktop I have added these uh, wonderful hubs and pull that out so we'll see if it makes a difference. 